Hello, I am Walter Nelson. Today I will be talking about the early tango and presenting what I have found in the way of uh, recorded um, images, of moving images of the tango at its birth as an international social dance, uh, which of course started in Paris around 1911. And uh, the resources I have found run from 1913 up until 1920. And actually the 1920 edition is uh, not actually an illustration of the older version, but of the change in tango that occurred around 1920. Uh, I will keep my commentary to a minimum, and I will let the resources speak for themselves. This first one is uh, from France, 1913, Max Prof de Tango. Uh, it is a comedy starring Max Linder, who was the, uh, the Charlie Chaplin of France. And uh, it is a fairly brief scene. So I have uh, interspersed it with uh, images of the tango from the time to provide a, a sort of a image gallery in addition to uh, Max's possibly a bit exaggerated, but still interesting uh, presentation of the tango of 1913, which as you will see, is very different from the tango of today. This next one is also French, which is only appropriate given that the French were the ones who tamed the tango and made it acceptable to uh, the rest of the world, to include the upper classes of Argentina, by the way. Uh, this is uh, from a film called uh, Le Mort Qui Tue, The Dead Man Who Kills. Um, and we can probably assume that what we are seeing in this uh, is not actually exaggerated, but does reflect um, the tango stylings of the moment, um, which I should point out aren't that much different from what Max the comedian was doing. Um, and uh, just a note that uh, all of my sources here, except for the final one, uh, are European. I haven't found any um, American sources 
were the first generation of tangos. Um, the Charlie Chaplin film Tango Tangles, in fact, contains no tango. <laughs> it's all, all uh, turkey trot, one step sort of things, but that's a digression. Anyway, here we have the tango scene from Le Mocktu, and uh, note that with this and with all of the other European tango scenes, I have found uh, original recordings of tangos from the era because very much like the dancing, the music of tangos was different in the 19 teens uh, than it, it was in later uh, eras. Okay, and now we move on to Russia in 1914, just at the beginning of the uh, First World War. And this is from a, uh, a melodrama about a girl who was corrupted by the life of the big city. And uh, this is the clearly the naughtiest tango I have found from the 19 teens. It's a very interesting dance. Um, and I should note that many of the moves that are being done could only have been initiated by the woman. So clearly she is doing a great deal of leading in this dance. Um, the scenario, if that, that's a concern, is that her, uh, her jilted lover uh, comes to the door and sends her a note while she's dancing the tango with her new lover, her rich lover. And she reads the note and she laughs and she tells the maid to give him a few rubles and tell him to go away. And uh, when she does that, he takes out a gun and shoots himself in the head. And then as she leaves the party, she sees his body on the, uh, on the stoop and just steps over it and walks away because it's that kind of movie. But it also has this marvelous tango scene.
now we stay in the frozen north, but we move from Russia to Sweden, 1915. This is from a uh, Swedish instructional film called Moderne Danser, uh, Modern Dances, and it includes many different dances, but it also includes the tango. Um, I'm actually going to cut it a little short because it's uh, it's about six minutes long. And while it has marvelous uh, detail for people who are perhaps trying to master the tango of 1915, um, it's really not terribly exciting. <laughs> but uh, uh, I will play a little bit of it just to give you a taste. Um, and so here it is. So um, we remain in Scandinavia, uh, crossing over uh, the Baltic to Denmark, and it's now 1917. Uh, this is from a brief, uh, very short uh, uh, Danish, um, uh, more of a newsreel perhaps than, a, um, than an instructional film, but it has um, groups of dancers performing the modern dances, um, of which the tango is one, um, and they're doing it all um, as a group, uh, all uh, simultaneously doing the same things, which I think is actually not something you would normally see in a ballroom, but it makes for a nice visual. But anyway, um, here is the, the part that's des uh, described as uh, six eleganter par danser tango, six elegant couples dance the tango. <laughs> Okay, and uh, this uh, brings us to the last piece. And uh, this is actually uh, not an example of the uh, first generation of tango exactly. Th this is a, a fascinating scene. It's a very famous scene. I'm sure anyone who's been uh, haunting uh, old uh, old movie dance clips has seen se this several times, um, or has seen the movie itself. This is from Rudolf Valentino's Four Horsemen of the Apocalypse, and it was a huge sensation at the time. Um, the reason I picked this as uh, as an ender to my 
very brief collection of the films I have been able to locate so far of the first generation of tangos is that what it looks like is going on in this scene is that the first tango uh, couple um, is doing the old fashioned tango, the tango of 1915 or so. And uh, Rudy comes up and be beats up the guy, steals his girl and dances the new tango of 1920. Um, whether or not this was something being introduced by Rudolf, Rudolf Valentino, or if he was simply reflecting uh, the trends of the time, I really can't say. But it does look like uh, the new style of tango, the more naturalistic and less um, posturing tango um, is, uh, is beating out um, the, uh, the old fashioned tango. Uh, this is also the only clip where I have not replaced or I've added sound. Um, this is not an original tango from 1920, but it's the, uh, the uh, musical background that was on the clip I found on uh, YouTube and it's pretty good. So I just figured since it matches the action so well, I would leave it.
and that was Rudy Valentino dancing the tango in 1920. Um, a quick note, I, I mentioned that I, I cut the Swedish uh, 1915 instructional film short. If you want to see the whole thing, I have posted it to my YouTube channel. And um, it, uh, it is a marvelous resource for uh, people trying to recreate the tango of 1915. It is extremely detailed um, and uh, easy to follow, if not exactly exciting. And the Swedish Film Archive, by the way, has been extremely helpful. They have a, an enormous store of materials, and they have even been so kind as to post a, uh, a digitized film that I knew they had, but I didn't see on their website. When I asked very nicely, they added it to their website. Uh, anyway, um, that concludes my very uh, brief presentation of everything I have found so far on the first generation tango, the tango of the 19 teens. And I hope it has been helpful.